Hey, what's going on everybody? Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some Football Manager 2015. Uh, now, unfortunately, last time out, we just have literally just played a game against uh, Yeovil. Um, but the video did not work. So hopefully this one is working. But as you can see, we got a win. Um, a 3-1 win at home. We played okay. But look at this. Look at the... Look at the crowd size. That is devastating. Um, you know, we are not getting... I didn't realise this, but we are not getting a lot of people turn up. Um, considering where we are. Um, and that's going to be affecting this. Um, so I'm quite disappointed, actually. I'm very... I know that's I like. I'm very disappointed. Uh, one thing I wanted just to have a little look at was... Maybe just... Um, have a little look at Vicarage Road. So, um, 20,000 people can fit in Vicarage Road. We are not getting 20,000 people come in, um, which is a bit disappointing, but that's what it is. So, never mind. Okay, right. So, let's let's hope that having a look at this, we are now level on points with Fulham. We've played two more games than Fulham. We're nine points ahead of Ipswich and we've played a game more so we've got a little bit of distance let's not focus on that too much because there is still a long way to go uh, we're going to need something special to keep keep going and get this promotion but um, it's just that you know it's just a, a run into the end of the season it's good to be involved in this uh, in this automatic promotion that's what we want um, we need to uh, we need to get a win um, and continue to get wins and keep pushing forward and hope that that's enough to see us through um, to the Premier League. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? Okay, next up, Sunderland away. That's going to be a toughie. It's going to be a big toughie. And so I do apologise that we didn't bring you the uh, I didn't bring you the Yeovil game, but hopefully, hopefully we can we can make up for it here. Alan Judge actually scored two goals in that game. We were playing a, a weakened team, uh, not too much weaker. In fact, Judge was probably the the biggest change in the in the team. So he's still a, a first team player, you know. He's sort of who we expect to be in there. Um, okay, we're going to send the assistant to this one. Have a little look at our squad. Um, show filter. Remove the under twenty ones. Okay, we look good. We look good. Next game, Sunderland away. Here we go, everybody. Is everybody ready for this? I think we can let um, Pellegrini go on loan. I do. This close to the end of the season. Hopefully that won't come and bite me in the arse. Especially since I didn't put a return. Um, or recall from loan on there. So fingers crossed it doesn't. Okay. It's a quick pick. Posada's going in. Dukara's going to the going to the bench. Look at this. Our whole bench is made up of every player that we have. Let's um, include the under-21s. And just do a quick pick again. To see if that makes a difference. Let's put Cramond on. Rather than Erkstrand, which seems like probably the right move. Okay. First choice team apart from Anya. Um, and that's because uh, Doherty is out. Okay. And uh, obviously apart from Dukara. And Bayers. Other than that, first choice team. Right. We are good to go. Come on, boys. Send the assistant on this one. I feel like we've done enough press conferences for a while. Come on, boys. Win would be huge here. There's Murray. Still haven't seen enough of Murray. He's reached 250 appearances for us, though, uh, last time out. There's Judge. To Murray. To Posada. Shot was blocked. 
Apparently he's chasing it down, he's not going to get there. Doherty does, to Fawn, to Judge. Looks for Norwood, can't find him. Well in, there's Thorne, there's Judge. Again, their midfielders stopping any forward momentum at the moment. Thorne, Norwood's got some space, he's bursting into it. Let's put it wide. Should have done better when he got into that massive gap. It was a huge gap that he ran into. Had all the time in the world. Didn't make the most of it. There's Posada. Tricky little striker. On loan from Man United. There's Norwood. He's found Doherty. To Thorne. To Norwood. Norwood falls over. Thorne picks it up and is fine with Clenerly. His shot hits the post. Unlucky. Norwood. Free kick into the wall. Picked up the uh, the rebound. There's Norwood again to Judge. Judge finds Posada. Posada could find McLennan. He has He's picked up the rebound. He's bobbling about a bit. Doherty could get across in. He's played it short to McLennan to Thorn. Thorn shot over the bar. Okay, some more right football though. Norwood free kick. Hits the wall. Comes back to him. Could be a counter on. Thankfully, they've lumped that down the field. 20 minutes gone, we've been all over them. That can only mean one thing. It also means that Fulham have either won or are winning. Or I believe they're winning. They haven't played any of their games in hand. We need a win here as well. Just to keep, keep stride with them. Sada, he's done well. He's done very well until the shot. Does look all right in these sorts of positions, though. Just, just needs a bit more composure, I think, when he gets to that last, uh, that final third. I mean, can beat players, just not bobbling around. Surely, not surely. He should be a goal up at least. We hit the post. We've had a ball cleared off the line a couple of times. Good lord. Can only go on a little while before they make a chance. Great save. Finally finishes the clearance. And the facade has got a knock. Ten minutes to half time. Corner for Norwood. Short to Judge. Judge to Angela. Back to Judge. And good goal scoring for him. Well. Well, well, well. Doherty finds McLennerly. McLennerly to judge. It was a good save. A very good save. And Martin wins it back. He has been booked. Just need to bear that in mind. Oh, he's poor. He does look good until that last, that sort of the edge of the area where he runs out of ideas and shoots from range, which will never actually trouble the keeper. Generally, could save from Bond. Okay. Just keep going, boys. We have been the better team. Sada runs all the way into the box and then wins the corner. 35 minutes gone. Cameron. Up to Norwood. He's on, in the box. He's played it across. There's Posada. He should have shot and didn't. This is going to backfire. This is definitely going to backfire. but with a free kick over the bar. Now corner. A couple of changes, I'm sorry, throw in deep in our territory. We're starting to get back in this where we've been the better team for the vast majority of the game. Well in. In the box. 
found some room, Martin with a challenge. And cleared, and there's Posada running with the ball again. So the ball out wide. It's played it behind McLenley, but we keep hold of it. And then it looks like a, an elbow. Card. There's Doherty. Losing out up the pitch. What a way to waste a free kick. And put yourself under all sorts of pressure. Well done, Martin. Moore finds Posada. Why we didn't make those changes at the substitution. Posada run again is cut short. Martin when he picks it up. Judge is going to find Norwood again. He's got room. Murray hasn't really helped him there. There's Judge. There's Norwood. Oh, what a save. What a save. There's the substitutions. Clinker is in. Hoping to cause problems to the keeper. It's deep. Murray's there. And Geller. He scored. 75th minute. Get in. Third goal of the season for Angela. Headed down by Murray. Just first to react through the keeper. Difficult to keep out from that sort of range though, to be honest with you. Okay, 10 minutes to go. Let's make a change in the middle of the park, I think. And also, just go defensive. Get a bit more structure and waste some time for the last couple of minutes. Let's just see this one through. This should be it. There we go. A 1 0 away win will absolutely take that. Just tell the boys it was a good win. We probably should have done better, to be honest with you. But look at this. We're back on terms. Ipswich obviously drew. So that's stretched that gap even more. Okay. Next up, Sheffield United at home. Another big game. Okay, we've got a new um, intake of youth players. Let's have a little look. Kenny Swain is uh, their pick of the players and they recommend him very very highly which is good news let's automatically offer a contract to him get him tied down Ooh, hello. Let's get him under a contract as well. Okay. Let's just have a little look at the youth candidates. They're the only two really with any kind of potential. Did I see... Kenny Swain is from Ipswich. Would you look at that? Um, that's where I'm from in case you were wondering and why that was of, of interest Must be, as, a, as a football club it must really infuriate you if you're in that area and um, you're one of your you know one of the youth candidates that are in your region um, just go to a different club completely I can understand it you know with maybe a, if you're in Ipswich and you go to Arsenal which is only 70 odd miles away um, you know because obviously the the um, quality of um, 
a training facility and coaching and all the rest of those things is so much higher and you want to give yourself the best chance of um, of um, of getting as far as you can with your career but uh, as, a, as a club when that player goes to a completely um, um, you know a completely different area who are in the same sort of league and same sort of position as you must be a bit infuriating um, but so be it let's have a little look few injuries Weber has signed a new youth contract that's good news get our best young players tied down for a few years as has Swain super okay next up Sheffield United at home they are 13th we are second we need to keep an eye on Fulham and see if they play any games to close that gap let's have a little look if they do it will be on a Tuesday or a Wednesday or maybe a Friday but then they won't be closing the gap here we go it's a Wednesday they're playing Rotherham and they've won I'll stretch that gap out a little bit more a bit disappointing what's next then Troy Deeney is coming back so 19 goals in 39 appearances could have done with someone who scored that many goals um, alongside Dukara Okay, Sheffield United at home. Here we go. There's our next move. Um, Congolo, yeah, you can continue to stay out on loan. Um, good luck, everybody. We need a win. Okay. Swap Posada and Dukar around. Again, back to pretty much our strongest team. Bayers is out injured. Um, Torn calf, two or three months, that's pretty much his season done. Doherty, three to four months, that's his season done. So we're not expecting anyone to return from injury. We are just playing with what we've got. Okay, here we go, everybody. Can send the assistant to that one. Dini's up top by himself with one man just behind him. We are at home. We have to hope that's enough to, to get us the points. Murray was fouled. Norwood. Over the bar. Well, not even over the bar. Wide and over the bar. Ooh. Pulled wide there as well. Another free kick. Exactly the same place. Ooh. Well saved by Bond. Did well to get over. Let's not give him any more free kicks. Drake. Malian Doherty. He's won the ball. Not a lot really happening. Ah, crap. Look who it is. 
Hotspot and Fulham are winning. And Leighton Orient have leapfrogged Ipswich. No one picked him up with a header. Oh, he's got very fortunate there. I have to say. We've been very poor. Shout at him, see if we can wild them up a little bit. Clinker's ball is poor. We haven't got going in this. We have not got going. Clannerly. Running with it. He's beaten his man. He's found Dukara. Dukara's shot. Oof. He got some welly behind that. Absolutely powered it. Norwood with a free kick. Right over the bar, straight down the middle. Probably shouldn't have challenged the keeper even if it was on target. Fired them all up and we've sent them back out there. Come on, boys. Doherty's missed the first challenge of the second half. He's done well to get back in there. Again, they're all over us. Great challenge, Martin. Oh, Bomber's there with the, with the save. Oh, Dini was there. We're not getting. We're not getting started in this. We're going to have to make a change of some kind. I just don't know what it is. Let's try this, I guess. Good luck everybody. See if this makes any difference. I mean it's gonna go one way or the other this. There's Clinker. He's found in Clemmy. He's gonna run down the line and probably be tackled. No, it's early ball in. Picked up by uh, Baldwin in midfield and cleared away. And there's Deeney. And he's done well. Harris now down the line. Cut inside, the man over. Great save bomb. Where's the changes? Can this force us into this game? Mm. And tackle. Thorn picks it up. It's found. Tukara. Defender did very well. And our header's gone straight to O'Kane. There's Dini again. Causing us all sorts of problems. Well done, Thorn. Certainly doing more than our strikers. Dukara. It's in the family. Out to Clinks. Probably should have looked. I think I'm playing Clinks on the wing. There's Makaka, there's Dukara, there's McLennelly. Ooh, it's a good save. Let's just have a little look. Take this corner first. Dukara's going to get there. Back out to Norwood. Cross comes in again. It's cleared away again. Makaka, back to Norwood. Not an easy ball to get under. Done very well. He's found with no one. Um, okay, let's have a little look here. And Clinker is out of the wing, but I don't suppose that matters too much. Go all out attack for this. This Posada. Oh, he should have done better. Should have done better. Posada again. He's done it. He's got a goal back. 1-1. One, one, third goal of the season. Now yeah, we go for it here, I think. I don't think we worry about a point. I think we I think we worry about the extra two that we could get. I think we 
we just need to hold on a little bit and see if the centre half makes any kind of recovery here. There's Posada. Done well since he's come on. There's McLennan. Played out wide to Clinks. To Norwood. To Mukaka. Posada, who was offside. Clinker, there's Posada, with the Ducara right over the bar. I was, wanted to make a different change to this, but I think I'm going to have to make it disappointingly. I wanted to bring some fresh legs on in the middle, but I uh, can't do that. Free kick on the edge of the box over the bar. Bond is going to lump this down the field. Extra's lost it. Clinker's going to get there first, thankfully. There's Norwood, there's Thorne. Thorne finds McCannelly. There's Posada. Posada's shot is poor. I needed to run into that gap. Last chance. There's Doherty. There's Mukaka. He's lost out. Let's hope there's not a ball over the top. Angela's done well. Sends it back to the keeper. We're pushing everyone up the field. Another long ball. And cut out again. Troy Deeney must be tired, sorry, but there's no way he could carry on at this rate. Well done, Doherty. And there goes Makaka. One minute, 30 seconds to go. Look at him bursting into the space. He's found Dukara. Dukara's in the box. Is that a penalty? No. Actually, wins ahead of Norwood. To Makaka again. There's Doherty. There's McClennelly, there's Doherty again, this is the last chance, Ducara's head is over the bar. And looks like we're going to get a draw up here. And based on how long we were behind for, I'm not too disheartened with that as long as it finishes that way. Um, and we gave it our best shot, we went all out attacking, we hoped we could get something, we still may throw this away. Well done, Erkstrand. Norwood, he's lumped that down the field. Posada is chasing. Last 10 seconds of the game, Posada's four runs off. So we've got a throw in. Can we take it quickly? Can we take it quickly? We have Posada's there. He's lost down. And that's full time. Well, well, well. We're a little bit unlucky, but let's not tell the boys that. Five points behind Fulham with one game played more than Fulham. And, uh, Nine points in front of Ipswich. They've got a game in hand as well. So, it's getting a little bit tighter with that draw. And there we go. We'll call it the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.